620 games later, the Digicel Fiji 7s team is gearing up for yet another start of a tournament. The side are tipped to have it easy in pool play, but the coaching staff remain wary and are banking on the newcomers. Indra Singh with more. Fiji looks the top bet from its pool to make the quarterfinals of the Dubai 7s, as the odds favour our gladiators. The side will be playing in its 111th tournament, and their debut in the series was in Dubai in 1999. Even laced with seven newcomers, there is no fear from our coaching staff, who believe the 12-member squad is ready. They knew in this uh, first time in the series, but uh, these guys play top competitions uh, locally. Fiji has already gained an upper hand, as the management say the weather is on their side, with temperatures reaching 26 degrees. A scrimmage against England is planned for tomorrow, as the side wraps up training before the start of the tournament on Friday. Dere and his brigade know they need to be amongst the top finishers if there is any chance of winning the overall series in May. Interesting, FBC Sports. Despite only having won one of their matches on the European tour, the Flying Fijians rugby side has improved its world ranking this week. The side which beat Georgia 24-19 on Sunday is now ranked 13th, taking over from Canada who have dropped down one place. However, Fiji remains behind Pacific rivals Samoa and Tonga, with the Samoans now 8th in the world and the Tongans 11th. New Zealand remains on top, followed by South Africa, Australia, France and England. The Fiji men's and women's teams have started their campaign at the Oceania Youth Basketball Championships on a high. The men have won their battle against New Caledonia, winning 81-76. In the women's match, Fiji proved too strong for Guam, winning 64-31. The Fiji men play PNG today, while the women are up against New Zealand later tonight. Fiji's three AFL test matches against Nauru may have not given them the desired results. But the event has put Fiji further on the international scene for Aussie rules footy. And next up is the Oceania Youth Championship in Suva, where Elena McDonald finds out that Fiji hopes to make a stronger comeback. This group of players created South Pacific history by playing the only other AFL international outside of Australia. And it's a moment they will all remember from this day forward. The 2012 Nauru Chiefs, they, they are the pioneers of this great uh, venture by Fiji, AFL Fiji, uh, so that now gives Nauru a chance to go overseas every year now. Fiji may have suffered three heavy losses to Nauru, but the experience has shown our potential in footy. Fijians are basically, um, I think, uh, are perfect for Australian rules football. Their um, agility with uh, their height, their ability to, to jump high, to sprint to fast, um, to move around the park, their general fitness, it's, it's, it's perfect for Australian rules football. And we the seniors have had their go. Come mid-December, the national under-15 side will get the chance to turn the tables. Uh, the guys have seen what Nauru is capable of now, and I feel that Nauru is at a stage where yeah, they're, they're, they've showed us what they've got, and we've showed only partially what Fiji has to offer. This is just the start for many things to come for AFL in Fiji. Elena McDonald, FBC Sports. And that was your Tuesday night sports.